Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got a sales brochure review. Uh, this one is for the Carpenter Classic. You can see here we've got the picture of a 3800. Uh, and if you look at the rest of the cover, it's basically the side of a Carpenter. You can see the stop arm. Uh, so this sales brochure is just a fold out. It's not very big. It's literally just the one uh, page folded. Uh, but the Carpenter Classic is a bus that, you know, I've actually ridden on. Most of the time when I do a sales brochure review for Carpenter, it's from the 70s or the 80s. And most of those buses were out of service by the time I was in school. Um, I know some districts still had them going, but obviously wasn't my district because I didn't ride on any. But the Carpenter Classic is something that I have ridden on, uh, and my district had a few. Now this particular sales brochure is copyrighted 1990, uh, so it's probably from 1991 because I usually do the copyright a year before. So the ones I would have ridden on weren't 1991s, but at the end of the day, they were still the same bus, uh, just different years. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Uh, when I open up the page, you can see this Carpenter 3800. It looks like we've got fender mounted signals. There's the Carpenter body. You've got that door where the uh, one side is larger than the other, um, which I always found to be a very interesting detail uh, for the Carpenter door. Um, there's the actual Carpenter logo, and then this bus is a 12 window bus, so it'd be about a 72 passenger, maybe 71, depending on how the seat setup was. And all around it, you can see they've got different, uh, points that are being made. Um, so I'll try to go over those and you can read them if you'd like. And then at the bottom it says school board's pet and right here we've just got some text so I will show it in front of the camera if you'd like to pause to read it. Then that kind of finishes up above the Carpenter logo. And it says Carpenter, student body by Carpenter. Then on the back, we've got the continuation of the stop sign from the front cover. Right here, we have classic specifications. So this is showing you the three most popular um, seating arrangements. So right there, you can see uh, they actually have it to where one side of the bus, the seating is smaller than the other. And you can see right there, that is a 54 passenger body. There's a 66 passenger body and a 77 passenger body. And right here it tells you the seating capacity, overall length, chassis, engine, exterior body width, interior headroom. And then it talks about the warranty, and then you got the copyright, carpenter manufacturing. Right here you can see it tells you you could get this body on a Ford or Navistar, which would be international chassis. Uh, so definitely uh, very interesting. It's not the biggest sales brochure, but it's still very cool. Uh, I like it, and I'm glad I got it in my collection. And I thought you guys would like to see it. Some of you may have ridden on this bus, uh, some of the older enthusiasts that are around my age or older. Um, heck, some of you could have even driven this if you're of that age, I don't know. Uh, I was lucky enough to ride 21, which 21 was sold after I graduated high school. Uh, we also had 17 and 19, but they were out of service by the time I was a freshman uh, in high school. So yeah. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. Bye.